Okay, so my name is uh, David Obdržálek. I am teaching at Charles University at the Faculty of Mathematics and Physics. And actually what I'm doing is robotics. So low-level uh, robotics interactive courses and also in connection with AI. So those smart algorithms, we are still missing in real life robots. Okay, uh, I'm at the, uh, at the Faculty of Mathematics and Physics and uh, actually it's not only math and physics, but of course also computer sciences and uh, that's the branch which I'm doing and uh, namely the artificial intelligence uh, which is also one of the main uh, targets of uh, the department I'm working on. And uh, well, uh, everything concerns uh, the, uh, the idea that uh, there are many smart theoretical algorithms which are not uh, heavily used in real life. Sometimes they are, but you don't uh, notice them. And uh, we try to make the students to understand such kind of uh, algorithms and also more to develop new ones. The Czech Robotic Day, it's an uh, annual event uh, we organized since 2004. Uh, and uh, well, it started uh, as a, a very small meeting of uh, four uh, robots. We uh, wanted to test them before uh, going for an international competition. Uh, but uh, it was quite popular among the students at that time, so we decided to do that again next year and the year after and so on. So, Currently, uh, after those 11 years, uh, we grew from four teams uh, with four robots to more than 250 people uh, involved in the, uh, those competitions and uh, uh, about uh, 150 robots or a little bit more than 150 robots in seven competitions. Yeah. So that, that was quite uh, nice growth. And, uh, well, it's uh, the biggest uh, robotic competition meeting in the Czech Republic. So every year in spring, usually uh, late May or June, uh, that's uh, quite suitable for uh, the schools because it's the end of the school year. So we uh, usually announce the rules for next edition uh, sometime in autumn. Now we are just before announcing the new uh, new edition for 2015. And then they have nearly the whole school year to build their robots and to bring them to the competition in Prague. We have, uh, during the robotic days, so far it was a single day event uh, for the competitions. But already for a couple of years, uh, it's followed up by uh, a team workshop just the next day after the competition. During the uh, robotic day, uh, main event, main day, uh, we have in parallel uh, those six, seven, eight contests, competitions. Um, all of them are different, but uh, they are still uh, quite easily affordable, for, even for beginners. So, uh, and for non-professionals. Uh, uh, especially because uh, what we want is uh, to attract people to do robotics. So it can't be something you build your robot uh, five years before you are good enough to compete with the others. So we always set up the rules so that you can build your robot at home or at school or as an after school club for example. And it can be done in that uh, little time as half a year or uh, one year. And uh, uh, well, uh, during the whole day, the competitions are held in several rounds and uh, well, at the end of the day, people will not only get their cups for the winner, but they also get much more about meeting, uh, from meeting the other teams and for, from gaining the knowledge what the others have done. So that's uh, the main advantage of uh, this competition. We don't want to find out who is the best one, who, who has the best advanced robot or whatever. It's nice to see that, of course, but what we want is bring those people together so that they can uh, make new contacts, they can start cooperation with the others. And it works well because uh, the secondary school kids and the university students, they cooperate on something, they learn from each other. 
not only the younger from the older, but the other way around as well, because the younger usually come with nice ideas and uh, something new, fresh. And it works. Uh, we have uh, participants this year. Uh, it was quite funny for me to, uh, to see that in numbers, uh, because the youngest participant was five year old and the oldest was 67. And both competed in the same competition on a quite accurate level. So I was really happy to see this. What I miss a little bit, or gradually more and more, is uh, the connection with other uh, areas, other branches. Yeah. So uh, robots are starting now to be used everywhere, not only in a closed uh, areas in industry or hidden in a factory somewhere, but they are just emerging to real life. And what we need is to put together those people who create the robots, who know about the techniques, and people who know about the relations between people and the robots, who know about the design, who know about the art, how to make it nice, how to make it uh, uh, easy to be worked with, or even the economists, how to make it cheap to produce. So uh, the future, what I hope to, uh, to reach is to connect those people during the robotic day as well. And that's why we already started, uh, the, two years ago we, we launched a new competition called art, robots and entertainment, so that we attract people who are doing arts using robots or who are doing entertainment and use robots for that. And the other way around, we want to have robots which are entertaining. And we, we might even think about robots doing arts. So that's uh, open. It's not very, very um, uh, detailedly, uh, preci precisely specified. It's open. So. Um, for any kind of uh, connection between art and robots. So if you are a designer, we will be very happy to see you using the robot for doing something. Or if you are a creative artist or a new media artist, we would like to he hear, see, touch your artistic stuff, which is done using the robots or using robotic stuff.